Hello everyone and welcome, my name's Ali A, today we're going to talk about Ghost, the new Call of Duty game that will be coming out at the end of 2013. So far we've seen a cool little teaser which is on my channel if you guys haven't seen that, and on May the 21st, in just 10 days time at the time of making this video, we're going to be getting the proper reveal alongside the new Xbox reveal, so I'll be covering both all of the new Call of Duty Ghost information and new Xbox information on May the 21st here on my channel, which is very, very exciting, not very far away at all, but today I want to talk about the new characters within Ghost, some single player campaign theories because there's some very cool things that could be happening with this game and you guys can feel free to share your ideas within the comment section as well. So first of all we're going to be talking about the characters that we've seen so far within Ghost, the character you're seeing on screen here is probably the one you all recognise because he's been shown on the box art of Call of Duty Ghost, it's the image we most recognise and the character that we most recognise so far. But if we go to the actual trailer or the teaser trailer for the new Call of Duty Ghost game we can clearly see six characters in total being shown. Now we actually have images of all of these six characters from an exclusive poster which is available at certain retailers within Europe and as we can see all of these characters have their own identity, their own different masks and their own look about them. Now if we read the motto along the middle of the poster we can clearly see it says we are all we've got and this reminds me instantly or makes me think instantly of some sort of group of people that have banded together to create their own sort of mini group to fight off some sort of enemy organisation or to try and uh, be the people that instill some sort of order and try and act for the better good after something bad has happened. Now, and one thing to cover in terms of the name Ghost, that's actually a name referred to a group of people like this as a sort of group of mercenaries, if you will, that don't go under any sort of professional name like uh, the army or the navy or anything like that. Their own sort of bandit-like group that aren't recognised by the government. So this is sort of like a group of ghosts, hence the name of the new Call of Duty title. Call of Duty always covers some sort of pre-war situation or war situation where something's about to go down or something is going down. If never properly covered some sort of situation after a massive war has happened and this poster and everything we've gotten so far sort of points at that as being the main likely situation. And in terms of the actual setting in the time era there's been some rumours going around that the game's going to be set in the future but they're all using modern day weaponry which makes sense for sort of post war or post apocalyptic like situation. So for example a nuke has wiped out half of America or has wiped out some sort of factory base in China and as a result the usual technology advancements that we're used to seeing uh, in modern day technology like weaponry etc has just come to a complete stop so although say 20, 30, 40 years has advanced we're still only using the weaponry that was currently available at this sort of time period so that's why the theory of using current day weaponry within the future could work very very well with this whole post like war situation which I think is a very very likely situation now the final thing to talk about is the actual ghost character Character from Modern Warfare 2. As soon as Ghost was announced as the name, everyone's been talking about Ghost because of how similar their names are. It's worth mentioning that so far Ghost hasn't been seen within any of the teasers, his mask hasn't been seen, his name hasn't been mentioned, uh, but he could be included because a few of you guys have been pointing out that apparently he didn't die within Modern Warfare 2, apparently he was just shot in the shoulder, apparently he wasn't covered in gasoline when the character was burnt, he was wearing a fireproof jacket, so there's a possibility that he's still alive. And the interesting thing is, is that there was actually a comic book called Modern Warfare Ghost, which was released at the same time as Modern Warfare 2, and this comic book actually covered his pre-story leading up to Modern Warfare 2, uh, so if any of his story is going to be told, it's going to have to be after Modern Warfare 2, where perhaps, maybe just by any chance, he survived, so he could link back into this Ghost game, and if it is going to be after Modern Warfare 2, it then again has to be set in the future, which again links back into the... Uh, scenario and situations I've been talking about throughout this video. I still believe that he's not alive. I think he's just going to be some sort of hero or inspirational like character to inspire the six characters I showed you guys early on in this video. That's just my stance but of course it's open up to the possibility that he's alive or dead. You guys feel free to discuss that within the comment section. But this brings me to the end of my theory video and the end of the information I have for you guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Let me know what you think of my ideas and what ideas you have in the comment section down below because of course it's 